I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. And you can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now, please, Kaz. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Suze. Oh, Jesus, Suze. Girls need you a Christmas card. <laughs> Merry f***ing Christmas. Kaz, Roy's finishing up breakfast if you want something. Uh, I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Aye, well, don't wait too long or someone will be off with you. Aye, yeah, all right. All right, Kaz. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of sh**. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. F*** Adal. And f*** Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the sh**, man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to a high do ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. Well, that's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can I find my lighter anywhere? Take mine. I don't need it anymore. Honestly. You're a f***ing lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See you. Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mere rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, none this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, this oh, place... Oh, come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point, though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons, and it's ropey as f*** down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here to fix the lecky. <laughs> What do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, boys? No bad, Kaz. Raft's here's a bit shaky, though. Going to be the lad's first solo dive this morning. All right. Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Kaz. Ah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Enjoying your last day, McCleary? What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. Ah, give peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, McCleary. You all right, Roy? Cars, me old mucker. I do. McCleary, to my office. That means no, not as soon as you're ready. No. The sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the Paulus? Can't be surprised, Kaz. Have you heard from Suze? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Slagged off, Suze. He had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate, even if it is the Paulus, maybe it's best to just go back and face it. Yeah? Ach, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scunnered with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. 
And I'm pretty sure Suze does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. It's not over. Until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much f***ed from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hang for that McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. Need a hand there, fellas. McCleary! No! I can scalp in this hero by myself! <laughs> Not what I eh? Cheers, though! Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? You'd give me less lip. No. He loves it. McCleary! My office! I don't make me ask again! In a better mood today, is he? You'll be all right, Kaz. You get used to it. We all get a turn. Try not to punch him. Haha, <laughs> no promises. All right, Roper, what's the problem? Don't usually see you down here. Ah, drills acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue-ass flies, but they cannot make head or tail of it. Is that you's behind schedule, then? No, not yet. Uh, and not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere f*** than ever. Not as f as you, by the sounds of it. Look, you better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. McLeary! Jesus, Scooby! <laughs> Give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? What do you need, Scoob? Ah, oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? Aye, no bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. <sighs> well, here we fucking go. Enter! Ah, Mr. McClary. So glad you could join me, and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. Oh, I'm fine, Stan. The sit your ass in that chair, you f liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's no ship. Shut your gub, you Ned Pick! I am sick, sick to fucking book of you wee gub sites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shit on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the f***ing king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rig. Uh, look, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. I've got here some mama who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Look, I know... Shut it! I'm in a meeting. What? For fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels off. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! Is that uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fired. Uh, come on, man. Uh, it's only a wee bit of trouble with the polis. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Ouch! Get off my rig! Aye. A happy new year to you too, ya. You. Christ, but you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. 
I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran, you remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes me a favor. Reckons you can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Roy, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then, that, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the c Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we f go. Yeah, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? No, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bampot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Guys! Christ! He's got gold! Guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Guys! I think he's dead! We got you, man, all right? We got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Kaz, come on. Wake up, Kaz. Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he going to die, Brody? <coughs> Kaz? My heat's killing me, but... Christ. Aye, aye, I think so. You got me out. Did you get Gregor? I got you, aye. I couldn't find Gregor. F I'm sorry, Kaz. Oh, Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. No, no, no. Rass is still in there. Why aren't these working? Kaz, I need you to help me. Kaz! What? Right. Aye, what, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake, then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Raffs, it's all right. We're getting you out. We'll be two minutes, pal. Uh, That's it. Uh, <coughs> What's going on, Brody? What happened? Don't know. The drill hit something. An air pocket or gas explosion, nobody knows. But whatever it was, it was big. You were lucky, trust me. Douglas is trying to find out Mayor. Like if the bear is even safe now. What's wrong with rafts? I don't know, all right. Decompression shouldn't be this bad. Oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, rafts. It's pro day. I'm going to get you out. Ah. Is there anything more I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right, I'll head down now. You all right? Who are you seen a ghost? Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. But should we no find him, help him? No. I not recommend that. What does that mean? It means he's no all right. After that explosion, he got oil or some shite on him and just... I don't know. He freaked out. Went for me. He's still out there. 
You mean out here, as in out here with me? Aye, that's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just f***ing brilliant. You seen anyone else? I just go here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Gotta go all the way up there. Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the f*** away from him, you listening to me? It's no right, cuz. I'm no arguing. Cuz! Be f careful, eh? Aye. You know. McCleary here. Cass, it's O'Connor. I've got Bruce and Fergus with me. You know what's going on? No, but we hit something. You need to get out of there. Don't need to tell me twice. Listen, something's wrong in engineering. It's not safe. We'll go through the leg and come up through the underrick. Rennick better give the evacuation. O'Connor, you have to go through accommodation. It's all blocked. Do you hear me? O'Connor! Trot. Trots. Is that Trots? Trots, is that you? I can't hear you, man. Open the door. Trots, the door's blocked. I can't get to you. What's up, wee man? Are you hurt? Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Trots! Trots! Bloody hell, fire! Get in, quick. Thank God you're all right. Jesus, what are you doing in here? What do you think you're doing in here? What the bloody hell is going on? I don't know. People are dying, Roy. Dead? Who? who who's, who's dead? How? Uh, Douglas. Trots, I think. I, I don't know. It's, it's this thing. I, I think it's doing something to people. I don't know what to believe, you know what I mean? I do, I really do. I saw something on the deck. I didn't stay to look. It just scared the shit out of me. I should barricade the door. We can't hide, Roy. We have to get off this rig right the f*** now. Well, without Rennick say so. Roy, did you hear Rennick? What, you think we're getting evacuated? He'd want everybody back at work if we were at the bottom of the North <sighs> Sea. <sighs> right. The lifeboats, then? Aye. You stay. Barricade the door. Let me clear a path, and once we're ready to go, I'll come and get you, right? I'll be here, don't worry. Getting some extra prayers in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna need them. Gaz, um... You, you, you won't leave me. Uh, it's bloody terrifying out there. I'm not leaving you, pal. I wouldn't blame you if you did, mate. I mean, you've got all the food in here for a start. <laughs> Listen. Get your man upstairs on the case. And I'll see you soon, right? Jesus. Ah, oh, my heat. Ah, oh, hell. What is that? Oh, Maybe I can go through the laundry.
Christ. How am I going to get down there? Renick, it's me, Kaz. McClary, what the f are you doing to my life force? It's gone. It's just fell off into the f sea. You must have done it wrong. F off, Renick. You built this f thing, not me. Who's with you? Uh, Roy's in the canteen. Finley and Brody are alive. Listen to me, McClary. Get your ass up to the chopper pad. Bring anyone else you can find to. And whatever you do, don't touch this stuff all over the bearer. I can't, I can't get back out. There's a safety door, the railings are all gone. For God's sake, do I have to tell you how to do everything? Give the door a tidy kick at the bottom. It'll open right enough. What about you? Just concentrate on getting to the pad. Don't worry about me. You see, Renick? What? Well, does this mean we're okay, like? No hard feelings? Get to f McClary, and when you get back, f off again. I'd be happy to see you drown, but I'm not having your death on my f record. Go on your cell, you old f Who's that? It's Kaz, Ennis. What's going on? Jesus, I, I need help. I, I don't know what to do. Again. What was that? Christ, something's happening to me. Oh, no. Ennis. Ennis! Stairs. What the hell is going on? Uh, trots. Uh, I think it was trots. No, it's just horrible, whatever it is. Just stay in here and keep quiet. Did you get to the lifeboats? Yeah. <laughs> knows if they ever work, but they definitely don't work now. I had a wee chat with Rennick about it while I was out there. How did that go? Badly. The cunt still reckons we should get to the bird. You think? You got a better idea? Cos, mate, I'm not going to make it over the deck. I'm not feeling so good, pal. I think I need my insulin. What? You're f***ing kidding, Roy. Now? Oh, I'm sorry to inconvenience you, Mr. Bloody Fit and Healthy. I'll tell you what, I'll have a little chat with my pancreas, shall I, and tell it to pull its socks off. Right, all right, all right, sake. Could you not just eat some f***ing jam or something? Oh, bloody hell, the man's a medical genius. I'll get on the blower to Dr. F Spock and tell him not to panic. We've solved diabetes here. It's f***ing McCoy. No Spock. He was the point of year. <laughs> you think you can manage to get to your cabin? You've summoned there, hi. Hey? I'll get to the helipad. Make sure that doesn't he try leaving without you. All right. I'm not useless. I can get there. Listen, uh, uh, when, when you get to the chopper, tell Archie to radio in the support ship. We, 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 we need all the f***ing help we can get, Kaz. All right, big man, all right. Just be careful, OK? My girls need their godfather in one piece. Guys. Jesus, Ennis. What are you doing up there? That thing will see you. That thing? It's Muir, guys. It's Muir. Muir. Jesus. I... <laughs> Christ! I don't understand, Kaz. Listen, we have to get to the helipad, all right? I tried talking to him, but he came for me. Like, he didn't care me at all. It's no him anymore, Ennis. There's nothing we can do but leave. Save who we can. Aye, aye, you're right. But the only way up is the crew lift. He won't let anyone leave. Then we need to get past him. Uh, all right. I'll see you there. But, eh, hey, didn't he be a hero if he hears me, all right? Well, then don't let him hear you. Uh, see you at the left. Guys, <laughs> oh, thank Christ. 
You all right? Can you get out? No. Muir was coming at me. I just froze. I didn't ken how I got myself in here, but the cargo hoist came down and we're right crabs in a creel now. Are, are those the hoist controls behind the fence? Maybe I can shift it. All right. You're a good lad, Kaz. He's still in there. Should have kept better than to let you two out the gather. The two greatest minds of your generation united over a bucky. Nobel Prize Committee will be warming up their checkbooks already. You seriously, seriously think if you leave the country, this will all just blow over? No one's going to chase me out into the middle of the North Sea. My mum always said I'd married beneath me, Kaz, but I thought you were smarter than this. I'm f doing my best. No, no, you're not doing your best. What do you know about oil rings, you roaster? I'm good with the lecky. Terrace houses, cars, flats, maybe a shop, if you're feeling adventurous. Roy's put in a word. He said I'm up to the job. Oh, for, for God's sake. Roy's a cook. He's a chef. He's a cook. It's just for a few weeks. We'll just let it cool down a bit, and then I'll call Billy Chamberlain and have a word. Talk him into dropping the charges. If you run the police, I'll give you the jail for sure. <sighs> when are you leaving? No more, morning. You are shitting me, McCleary. It's the girls' school concert. I'm going to Suze. What do you want for me? I'm just saying this, Kaz. If you leave us, if you run, if you go, then we are done. You hear me? Oh, no, don't say that. I'm, I'm here. S Suze. Hell, I'm losing my mind. Hello? Kaz, it's Brody. Jesus, the f chopper man. Aye, I saw it. Did you get to the lifeboats? Aye, they're busted. F kid, Al. Mechanisms are completely f cheap bastards. Denny Clark McQuarrie, just listen, here's what I need you to do. I need you to get to the radio room and call the support ship. This f and the f crane fell on it. Hello? Hello? Hey. It's Brody. Hey, I know who it is, you daft. Listen, that's the generator's failing. If they cut out, we'll be on emergency batteries, so the radios won't work. You're not listening. The radio room is gone. Christ, man, there's other radios, but only one set of Jennies. If they fail, you're going to need to head down there and manually restart them. I'm not going down there again. Gibble. Kaz, if the lecky cuts out, you won't have a choice. You go and do it. No, Kaz, I'm busy. You need to get to the Jennies and stop them from shorting. Got it? Aye. Uh, Jennies, right. Brody. Ah, oh, sh. It's Kaz, who's this? It's Davros! I'm in the lifeboat! God knows how I made it, but I did! Where is everyone? They're all gone. You, you've got to get back up here. Davros, I... Davros, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Anyone in? 
man here. We're clearly here. Christ, guys. He's here. He's in the wall. Oh, oh, easy. What are you on about? Who's here? Under the admin module. He's... Finley. Jesus, am I glad to see you. Aye, you and all. F***ing Rennick nearly had me. He's, 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 he's changed. He's f***ing vicious. It's not like he's changed much to me. Have you seen anybody else? Uh, uh, Brody. He sent me down here to restart the Jennies. The generators, aye. That's where I was headed. Maybe the lights are on. Uh, right, we're an emergency battery system, no. There's no got any hold for long. The beer is taking a lot of damage. Infrastructure's compromised. Oh, that's just brilliant. So how do we get the Jennies working? Right, well, first thing, get in that cabin over there and reset the protective relay. That might kick the Jennies back on. Go on, see what happens. <sighs> oh, I work like a charm. The generator must have tripped because of a fault somewhere. Aye, and the relay will just keep resetting until we fix it. We'll need to restart the generator manually. Right, where you go then? There's two jobs here, McCleary. The Jenny's in the fault. You deal with the Jenny's, and I'll find the fault. What the f was that? I don't know, but the generators are that way. Well, I'm no f in there. Have you got a better plan? No? Aye, well, I f didn't think you would have somehow. Aye, where you go then? Kaz, Kaz, are you there? For f sake, maybe no jump out at me. Have you not seen a dare? Oh, it's that p He's away in mud handling by the sounds of it. Listen, we are in business. We've gone from full power to batteries to sitting in the f dark. What are you all about? Oh, and getting in a stushy is gonna help us, is it? Just get that generator running. It's out in the floor. The key for it should be in there somewhere. I'll be out here looking for the fall. We'll be looking out for a dare as well, all right? Mud handling? 
Does that know where the deer is? Kaz, he's coming back. You need to move. Get back to mud handling and fix that fuse. Finley was here, but we we get separated. You all right? Aye. The rig is near though. We're oh, starting to sink. Are you kidding me? How long till it goes under? Soon, if we do nothing. Look, I need you to come down to the pontoons. If we engage the tension when she's in all four legs, we can buy some time. What's the point? The pontoons, the electricity, they... They f <coughs> think it's a f <coughs> nightmare. What are you on about? You survived this long, haven't you? More than can be said for most of the poor bastards on this rig. Christ, Kaz, somebody up there must like you. Aye, that's what Roy keeps telling me. Aye. Well, he's a Barnsley fan, so he'll be used to praying. <laughs> Aye, you're no wrong there. I'm no wrong about this either. You're the jammiest bastard on this rig, and we need that right now. So let's do this. Aye. What do I need to do? You engage the winches in legs A and B, and I'll do the others. Easy. There's a direct route down from engineering. Hi, all right. I'll, uh, I'll find my way down. Top man, Kaz. I'll give you a shout over the tannoy if we're in business. controls. Better check on Roy. Roy! Fuck's <coughs> sake. Oh, God, my son, the Lord. I've been worried sick. I'm sorry, pal. I've been out of the shop since I last seen you. What's going on, Kaz? What happened with the chopper? That cunt tried to go without us, but... Well, didn't it work out well for him or the bird? Bloody hell, Kaz. Is anyone alive? Aye, I saw Finlay. We had to get the Jennies on, and Brody as well, helping with the tension legs. Do you know what? I'm a <laughs> rig expert now. <laughs> told you to take no time. Yeah, I'm glad you've not been alone out there. Uh, those two are all right. I saw O'Connor. He's one of these things, but I thought... <laughs> I don't know what I thought, but whatever it is, folk are being turned into, there's something of them still in there. What's going on? Roy? Uh, it's, it's all right. 
I'll take my shot, I'll be right, it's right. Do you need me to come and get you? No, no, I can do it. Uh, you saw this rig out? And the way to get us home. See you, girls. All right? Hi. You're a good lad, Kaz. That's why Suze loves you. And she does, you know. She really loves you. Kaz? Hi. Sorry, I have to go, Roy. Will you make it to the cabins all right? Yeah, I'm on the way now. You, uh, be on yours. I'm praying for you, mate. Remember, Jesus loves you, Kaz. Everyone else thinks you're a <laughs> All right, pal. Afters. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Ah, here he is. Listen, I, I don't have long. I left away with my mum. I had to get to... She's hurting me. I'm, I'm going to have my head stuck Suze. in the Is that you? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this one's trying to give me a kick in and all. Going to be a wee boxer, eh? Ah, uh, you wish. I wish I could see you. You're beautiful like this. Aye? Well, I feel like an elephant. Chris, what is this? Suze! Suze! Brody! F***ing <laughs> hell, how are you doing? Better than you, by the looks of it. Did you see any others? You mean anyone alive? Well, I spoke to Roy. He's no doing great without his insulin. And I've no idea where Finlay is now. I spoke to her a few minutes ago. She's stuck until she gets past Rennick. Or what used to be Rennick. Feels like everybody's deed or worse. And I don't know about your side of the pontoons, but where I was, the oil tanks are burst, and I think there's a gas leak. I mean, <laughs> I'm looking for a <laughs> bright side here. Well, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, all right? Right now, we have to deal with the stack. <laughs> that noise! Aye, okay. All right, the stack. I'm kind of thinking the flare shouldn't be looking like that. No. The main feed's ruptured. It's burning out. It could get worse. And if it does, it could spread to the derrick and cause an explosion. Right, so we're f Again? Not if we switch the flare onto the auxiliary gas pipe. If you go over to the processing quad, I what? can... What? Have you seen it out there? Oh, aye, it's quite nice in here, you know. Maybe we should swap. You can't work the controls, Kaz. Otherwise, I, of course, I'd go myself. Christ. All right, all right. What am I doing? You need to get there and find the diverter valve, main to the auxiliary. It's on the middle floor, flare side. I'll ignite the stack from here. Right. If I can't do it, then you'll need this. Jesus. I'll be on the tannoy if you need any help. Good luck, Kaz. Great. Kaz, I can see the feet switching here. Glad you're all right. I've started the igniter. Give it a sec. Ah, uh, can't he see anything? Of course you can't, cos I'm not that f***ing lucky. No, it's not working. The gas is poured back toward the rig. I'm sorry, Kaz. I need you to do it manually. It's too dangerous to leave it. You'll have to head out onto the stack and use the relighter I gave you. Did you hear me, Kaz? Wave or something so I know you're receiving. Understood. Godspeed. speed. Jesus, you're f***ing joking me. Well, let's see him squeeze through there. Jesus. I've got to get this f***ing flare fired. Oh, shit. I'm doing this! Oh, shit.
Here's peace, Suze. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I'm not being difficult. I'm just trying to pick up the pieces of your mess. He wouldn't let it go, OK? He's carried a f torch for you since school. He's always hated me for being the bigger man and for having you and those beautiful f wings. Oh, no. Bigger man! You are s***ing me, McCready. You're the bigger man. Do you think your old daughter's got more brains and bigger bars than you have? What about the kids? The flat's in your name. You go to Berlin and they just take it away. Listen, Suze, come on. No, no, you just you shut it, McCready. You sit your ass down and you you just listen to me. How can we not just talk about this? Because I am smarter than you, that's why. And I will not, I will not let you drag those girls down with you. You sort this. Whatever you have to do, I don't care. If you sort this or I'm going to leave you, you understand? Suze, look, I'm really sorry. God, just enough, OK? Just, just get out of my sight. Try not to put anyone else in hospital the day, yeah? That might make a nice change for you. Why'd you have to? Ah, Suze. Jesus Christ. Oh, f Jesus. Suze. What have I done? Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, you bastard. Finley. Jesus Christ. Cleary, how the f are you no dead? I thought I was. You fit to help? Christ, can anything help? Aye, if we can cut ourselves loose and quick like, I'll buy us time, maybe enough. Do we even know if anyone's coming? We've been off radio for hours, so aye, I should hope so. Finley, good, let's... Cut us. I thought... Aye, aye, he's a walking, greeting miracle. Are we doing this or no? Aye, we float the rig. I'll dive down and release the tension cables. Hopefully we balance out, maybe end up higher in the water. I'll need you both at marine control. Oh. That's Roy. Hello, can anyone hear me? I'm stuck up. It is so fucking hot on the accommodation roof. I don't know how long I can last without insulin. He's up on the roof. I have to get him. No. Is anybody out there? You have to get to marine control with Finlay. Please! It's a two-man job and we don't have much time. You think Roy does? I can't just leave him. I promised I'd get him home. Ah, let him go. Fine. If you want to go, go. But this place is filling up with gas and oil from the drill to the derrick. God knows where else it's leaking to. I can't recommend it. I know, Brody. But I'm going. I have to. Engineering's your only path up there, and it's flooded, so you'll have to swim. It's a long way. Plan each step, and if you're underwater, stay calm. Oh, aye, that's exactly how that'll go. Enough! You both know what you're doing, so let's go. There you are, Brody. Oh, you never all right, McLeary. I'm coming, Roy. I'll find you. Me, big man. Come on, come on, Roy. Roy, wake up, you. <coughs> Please wake up. Wake up, come on. Oh, you bastard. Don't leave me here. Please, big man, come on, back. Christ, don't leave me. Roy, don't leave me. I can't do this, man. I'm scared, Roy. I'm f terrified. What am I gonna tell Susan?
I mean, she's gonna kill me, man, you know? She loved you, big man. She really loved you. So did my girls. Wait, what were we gonna tell them? <laughs> oh, sorry. Your Uncle Roy's not coming home. Aye, I know. Me and Ollie. I love this big man, do you hear me? I love them. Who's this? Finley, Kaz. You got it to Roy. Good. Look, Kaz, the water's up to admin, so I couldn't get to marine control. You need to try and get there from where you are, all right? Jesus. Aye. And that English bastard better come and all. You can't stay in that hut forever, no. Kaz? Kaz, you still there? When you do shout and I start to worry, like, is Roy making a fuss? Put him on. I'll get him to help. Guys. The f***, <laughs> what's going on? No, he's not coming. Ah, oh, Jesus. God. Did he not make it? It was too late. Oh, f***. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kaz. You know what? We all loved the big man, eh? I let him do. He was relying on me. No, no. No, you did everything you could. You went by for him. None of this is your fault. It's no anyone's. Look, I'm sorry, Kaz, but we need your help here. We're all fucking good down otherwise. Aye. I want half this fucking wreck. Good. Then you need to find a way across the deck, get to marine control room, and call me when you get there, and I'll talk you through it. All right? Right. Rope. No, you at all. Nice and slow. That's all right. I just need to make a call. Yeah? Aye. Right. Here we go. Finley. I'm at Marine Control. I'm, uh, I'm not alone. So that bastard, Renick? No, no, no. Jesus. Jesus. It's... it's Roper. He's all messed up. Kaz, listen to me, all right? Listen. All right. We need to keep it together. All right, just tell me what to do. There's only two switches. You just have to find them. First, find the ballast operations panel. There'll be a switch there to put it into manual control. You flip that switch. Go do that, and then I'll talk you through the next part, all right? Aye, all right. I'll look for it. It's locked. Oh, sh <coughs> Aye, there's a key. Mere good f news. It's all right, pal. Here we go. I'll look after this now, all right? Ready. <laughs> Switches at manual. Right. What's next? Now you flood the forward pontoon and I mean flood it to the f brim. Oh, hold on a minute. The pontoons are already f full of oil and gas. This might push it all up to the deck. We don't have a choice. The whole rig could tip over. Flooding that pontoon will at least give us a fighting chance. What about Brody? Is he not down there? He'll be out of there by now. He's done his part. We just have to do it all right? All right. It's coming for me. I Away. What was that? It's Roper. Never mind him. Flood the forward pontoon. I, I, hang on. Alright, 
done. Now what? Awesome. Come on. Come on. Come on, what? It's moving. Did it work? Aye. See? Not so hopeless after all, eh? Oh, thank Christ, Finley. What now? Brody's got a plan. Meet us in drill ops as soon as you can. Okay, I'll meet you there. We're going to be all right, Cass. I f <laughs> hope so. She's freaked out here. Listen, Kat. There's not much time. There's oil and gas getting in here. When it fills, it will be headed right up the drill pipe. What are you on about? I'm still in the pontoons. I've only got a couple of minutes. I can't stop it. The rig's a time bomb now. You understand? One spark and... You need to find a way off. Just get back up here and we'll work it out, yeah? I can't do that. What? I can't get back up. Wait, no way. I'm sorry. Wait, listen. You're on your own now. I'll come to you. All right? No, you won't. You wouldn't even get halfway to me. The legs flooded and the gas. It, it's not possible. You got your dive gear? Aye. So you can use that? It's oil, Kaz. There's nothing to be done. See that? I knew the risk when I came down here. I can't lose you as well. Listen, I'm all right, Kaz. I'm... I'm already back on Sky. You've ever seen water like that, Kaz? Clear. Peaceful. You just let go and... Everything's fine. Hi. That sounds beautiful. You go one day. <laughs> All right. No, f <laughs> I'm never swimming again after this. <laughs> Kaz, you and Finlay, you can do this. All right. I'm sure she wouldn't do something so stupid. Brody, you there? Kaz, what's stupid? Talk to me. It's getting higher. All right, I'm here, Brody. I'm not going anywhere. Alright, I'm here. Get him! Brody. Oh, Brody. Jesus. Brody. What's this happening? What are we there now, fella? Doesn't he f matter? If he's dead and you don't think that matters. He was always gonna die. All of them. Always. You we'll see that? We have been f about with the lakey and pontoons. And we thought I won't be hell. What's new our pals turn into monsters? Never once. Never f once. Have we tried to do what needed to be done? Oh, calm down, all right, what do you mean? I mean, I'm ending this. I'm here. Yeah, I guess. What? Who 
Where's he here? I mean, when it's close. Who do I hear? I hear my wife. I just want to get back to her, Finley. To my wings. I hear my boy. When he was we, you know. I, I hear him now. He's singing. We're not seeing him again, Cass. There's got to be a ship coming. You, you said it yourself. Christ, Cass. We don't want him coming. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I'm sorry, Philly. I, I don't know what to do. We've got to face it, Cass. What do you mean? Ah! We can't get back. We can't. <laughs> But I can. What? There's no going to stop with us. <laughs> Take McCleary for once to our life. Be brave. Be brave for them. You can't save yourself. But you can save him. Jesus, Finley. You want to leave it a chance? Oh. If it gets to the mainland. Oh. You know I'm right. I'm always <laughs> right. Christ. Christ. <laughs> all right. Die, all right. For them. You don't recognize me, do you? No, sorry, love. You know me. You could say that. It's been a long time, though, Kaz. Hold up. Susan Lafferty, fuck's sake, is that you? The very same. Christ, Kaz, but you look no different. I've still got the nose, eh? <laughs> well, looks like someone did a good job of spreading it about your face. <laughs> Big man a drink. Jesus, Cass. Because I really want to be thinking about Roy right now. <laughs> Jeez. He looks after me. He adores you, you know. Well, I am easy to love, Cameron McCleary. Yeah. I'm finding that. Shut it, great Suki Jim. I do, though, Suze. I f love you. I love you more than anything in this whole world. Did that fan pop? Well, you're not so bad yourself, all things considered. Marry me. You what? I'm serious. Marry me. We'll make beautiful wings. I want to spend my whole life with you. She's perfect. She looks just like you. Thank God for that. <laughs> She's got your eyes, though. <laughs> My dad's eyes. I'm sorry, cuz. I know you'd have wanted him to meet her. Nah, f him. The bastard wasn't interested in me. Why would he care about her? We love Jenny's way, cuz. I'll never leave you, Sus. I'll be at your side forever. And I'm always gonna be here for this win.
kiss the wains for me. Tell them I'll be back for Christmas. I'm sorry, Suze. Hey, Cass. I'm sorry it's been so hard. I just wanted to send you this. To say we'll get through it. I know we will. Just take care out there and bring my beautiful big gallus man back home in one piece, OK? I miss you and I love you. And the girls miss and love you. I'm still raging at Roy, but he's a good man and I know he'll look after you. Whatever happens, we will be all right. We can weather this. Just wanted to say that to you, Kath. To keep you safe and close and make sure you know to come home to us. I love you, Cameron McCleary. Be safe out there on those waters. My man. My love. Me. <laughs>